Telstra is trialling director handset services, which will allow users to connect to a mobile network through satellites. Joining us live now with more is technology reporter from the Australian newspaper, Joseph Lamb. Joseph, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Telstra, no doubt, has even more customers who will be impacted by a lot of these changes after we saw that Optus outage. We've seen Optus customers we know heading Telstra's way. Just take us through some of the big changes that Telstra has flagged. It looks like a, a big expansion of the network seems to be at the heart of the plan. Cool. Hello, Ash. Thanks for having me. Uh, so quite a few announcements coming out of Telstra yesterday. Uh, the top line really was like a, a business story. So Telstra is working on connecting data centers across the country. That includes about 5,000 kilometers of new routes. But on the consumer end, uh, the biggest announcement was the launch of a direct to handset service. So Telstra next year will be trialing satellites in lower earth orbit and customers and regional areas will be able to connect directly from their mobile phones. Okay, so in practical terms, what does that mean in terms of the sort of coverage that mm. people in the bush are going to get? Uh, so, I mean, Telstra has been pretty uh, pretty transparent about this, right? So when it comes to connecting to a satellite in low Earth orbit, you need to be outside, you need to have a direct line of sight to the sky. Uh, Telstra's Executive Director of Technology Development, Chenna Sanavaratne, he was pretty clear. He said that in 2024, what this looks like is a text message service. Um, they do expect voice services to come in with the next few years and then data service will come in in maybe five to six years, he said. Right, okay. And I see that 3G coverage is, is being shut down in favour of 4G. Again, what are the sort of noticeable differences that that will, will make for, for consumers? Mm -hmm. So Telstra did say that it's shutting down its 3G network. Uh, that'll be all shut down by the end of June 2024. Um, in replacing that, Telstra said that it would provide equivalent or better coverage. Uh, in a lot of senses, that would be 4G coverage, so it's going to be a lot faster, lower latency, and it's also less of an energy customer, so it's better for the environment as well. Okay. And so in terms of uh, the business story that you referred to a bit earlier, what is the plan? We know that plenty of uh, mums and dads out there are Telstra shareholders. What does the future look like in terms of, of securing this sort of, um, I guess, it, as a company going forward? Mm. So Telstra knows that data centres are big business, right? So there's lots of investment across the country. And Telstra itself has allocated $1.6 billion to this uh, intercity connectivity project. What that means is uh, Telstra is basically laying 14,000 kilometres of fibre across the country. It's connecting all the capital cities. It's running from Perth to Adelaide to Sydney to Melbourne to Canberra and, and so forth. And that also connects to, to data centres and uh, undersea cables. So it allows the transfer of data to be very fast across the country. OK, it does sound expensive to do all of that, but Telstra is obviously convinced it will get a return on that investment. Yeah, so basically Telstra, uh, Telstra expects to bring in around $200 million in revenue uh, per year, and that's once the, the fibre networks are operational. So probably a few years away from now. Joseph Lamb from the Australian newspaper, really appreciate you joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks very much.